What's up guys, Saf here on Super Saf TV and welcome to another episode of Unboxing Time. Mystery unboxings of cool tech and whatever else has been sent to me. It's been quite some time since we had one of these before. It's been tech Temba, tech Toba, and it's now tech Vemba. So things have been pretty crazy, but we will be consistent from now on. There's gonna be one episode of these every month. As always, if you wanna pick up any of the items featured in this video, they'll be linked down in the description. If you wanna send something yourselves for a future video, then that address will also be in the description below. Let's get straight to it. Right, the first product we have here is from HP, and a big thanks to HP for sponsoring this video. You guys can probably already tell what might be in here from the logo on top. Let's open this up. <laughs> We've got the Omen X branding. So this is of course the Omen X 2S, the world's first dual screen gaming laptop. So, so sick. All right, let's open this up. Oh yeah. Comes in this nice soft cloth to protect it. Uh, and as well as that, inside the box, uh, you do have the charger, some paperwork, as well as this uh, keyboard rest. Right, now let's uh, get to the laptop. Here it is. Now, first thing you'll notice right away that for a gaming laptop, this is super light and super thin. It's around 20 millimeters thick and around 2.46 kg, which is very compact for a gaming laptop passes the one-handed opening test. And you'll see right away that we have a very unique design. This doesn't look like anything else here in the market. And we have a 15.6 inch full HD IPS display with a 240 hertz refresh rate, which is gonna be amazing for gaming. But the thing that makes this unique from all of the other gaming laptops out there is that you've got two screens. So there's another screen here above the keyboard. This is six inches, it's 1080p, and it's also a touch screen. So why would you want two displays on a gaming laptop? Well, there's lots of uses. If you're gaming and you wanna be streaming on Twitch or Mixer, then you can do that on the second screen. Maybe you wanna watch a video while you're gaming. Well, you can do that here. And not only for gaming, I mean, if you want to watch a video while you're writing a document, you can do that here. You can have your Spotify controls on the bottom screen. The possibilities are endless and you've got so many uses for multitasking on here. Now this is a gaming laptop after all, so it is packing an absolute punch. We've got the Intel Core i9-9880H processor, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Max-Q, 32 gigabytes of DDR4 SD RAM, one terabyte PCIe NVMe, M.2 SSD. And this is the first laptop of its kind with a liquid metal compound cool CPU. Now you can see that we've got a backlit RGB keyboard with the touchpad on the right hand side. And you've also got fast charging on this. So within 30 minutes, you're gonna be able to get around a 50% charge. If you wanna find out more about the Omen X 2S by HP, or you wanna pick one of these up, then there's gonna be a link in the description below. And next up we have, the Powerbeats Pro. Now, I've actually been wanting to check these out for some time and I've had these in a box for a long time as well, but just not had a chance to get around to them. Really interested to see how they sound and what they're like, especially now that I've got the new AirPods Pro. All right, now right away, I do really like that we've got the black color here, something that you don't have on the AirPods. So you've got a few different colors that you can choose from here on the Powerbeats Pro. The case is quite, big though, it's uh, it's very big. It's definitely nowhere as compact as what you've got on the AirPods Pro. Just quickly bringing in the AirPods Pro for a comparison, you can see that uh, the case is considerably bigger and it also doesn't support wireless charging, which uh, is uh, a little bit of a downside. Now inside the box, as well as the Powerbeats Pros, you do get some paperwork. There's a USB type A to lightning cable, USB-C would have been nice. And then you also have some spare ear tips so you can find your best fit. Anyway, let's open these up. All right, nice. Now they do have the H1 chip, so this should mean that we're gonna have very easy connection to the iPhone. And straight away, just as soon as I've opened them, we've got the Powerbeats Pro and I can connect. Shows how much battery life we've got remaining on the Powerbeats Pro as well as the case itself. Uh, let's try these on and we'll listen to some music. Now, right away, the biggest advantage that you've got with the Powerbeats Pro is that you've got the hook that goes around your ears and 
Because of that, these are not gonna fall out at all, even if you're doing some heavy sporting activities. They're also sweat and water resistant, and even though they're bigger, you do get up to nine hours of listening, so that's uh, almost double of what you've got on the AirPods Pros. Let's go ahead and listen to some music. Yeah, so they sound pretty decent to me. Uh, of course, we don't have the active noise cancellation that we've got in the AirPods Pros. Uh, one thing that I do like about these is that you've got uh, physical buttons, so uh, you can skip tracks and things, but you've also got volume controls on both sides. This is something that you don't have on the AirPods Pros. Um, I quite like them. If you are somebody that's quite active, and you know you are going to be moving around a lot maybe playing lots of sports then these are probably going to be a bit of a better option compared to the airpods pros next we have a box from spigen you guys already know what this is going to be we have a bunch of cases for the new iphone 11. It's got a nice variety here uh, i'm a particular fan of the liquid air it's very inexpensive gives you some great protection without adding too much bulk you also have some of the clear ones, so if you do want to show off your shiny new iPhone, then going for a clear one's usually a good idea. If you're somebody who wants more protection, then we've got the Tough Armors. Uh, these also have a bit of a kickstand, so you can see those there. They're a bit too bulky, in my opinion. We've got the Rugged Armor, once again, a good balance between protection and size. And there's so many different options. You really can't go wrong with a Spigen case. Uh, they're not a sponsor, but uh, they make really good cases. Uh, I'll definitely link to some of my favorite cases in the description below. Next up, <laughs> all right. The G8X, I'm not gonna say that. Like, I don't know why they keep including this. It just makes the name so much more complicated. So I'm gonna bleep this word out. And this is the dual screen phone from LG, kind of their take on foldables, although it's not technically a foldable. Uh, let's check it out. So you actually get two boxes. Uh, the main box is the LG G8X, so which has the device. It has some paperwork, a fast charger, USB type A to USB type C cable, SIM card tool, as well as a cloth, which is always nice. And then we've got the LG dual screen element. So this is kind of like a case with a screen. Let's uh, assemble all of this together. So get rid of uh, the plastic and also on here. So it's uh, a case of just uh, sliding this into the case. It's a case of sliding into the case. Right, so the main display is a 6.4 inch OLED display with a full HD plus resolution. And the secondary display is also the same. Now we have the front facing camera here in a notch. Uh, what's interesting is that they've also replicated the notch on the secondary display. Now I'm assuming this is to lower production costs and also to give it a bit more of a symmetrical look, I assume. Now in terms of the other specifications, you do have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 chipset inside here with six gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage with a micro SD card slot, so you can expand the storage on here. There's dual cameras, a 12 megapixel primary camera with optical image stabilization and a 13 megapixel ultra wide camera. Remember LG were one of the first to do this, now it's become mainstream but I've always said I absolutely love ultra wide cameras. Now we do have a 3.5 mm jack here with a 32 bit hi-fi quad DAC. And we also have stereo speakers. So one is in the earpiece and one is bottom firing. And we do have IP68 water and dust resistance and there is a 4,000 mAh battery. Now there is only a battery within the device. So when you do connect it onto the second display, the second display is drawing power from the main device. So it will be interesting to see how much uh, that has an impact on the battery life. In terms of my impressions, uh, it's an interesting concept, especially considering the price point. I believe this is coming in around $700 to $800, which is much cheaper compared to something like the Galaxy Fold, which is uh, almost $2,000. You also have the option of popping out this phone and using it independently without the secondary display if you don't want to but you do have this massive bezel in the middle. So it's not gonna kind of give you a seamless experience of using a tablet when you have this opened up. However, I can see certain uses. So say for example, uh, if you did wanna use it like a bit of a dual screen, maybe have uh, a video playing in one of the screens, uh, maybe have a web browser on another, or if you're gaming and you wanna have your controls on one screen, uh, whereas you want your gameplay on another screen, I can see some uses for it. Uh, and I do think it, it's an interesting product how what is it going to do uh, i'm not sure let me know what you guys think of it this uh, next package is kind of um, is that tim cook that's a picture of tim cook although i don't think this is from apple hmm 
Tim Cookware. Is this legal? Are they allowed to do this? Um, I don't know. We all know Tim Cook has a friendly and welcoming face behind each new Apple product for the best part of the decade. And now his influence can be felt in kitchens all over the world. Hold on to your oven gloves because the CEO of Apple is going to be helping you get a piece of your own homemade Apple. I'm, I'm really not sure if uh, what the legalities are because I'm, I'm pretty sure Tim Cook wouldn't, wouldn't actually be involved with this. But anyway, um, we have uh, some stickers. We have a hat. There's a, a cookbook with a, a wooden, uh, wooden cover. There's a cheese grater, which uh, I kind of get the reference to because of the new Macs. We've got a chopping board. Uh, we've got uh, a rolling pin, uh, which I'm not going to show my mom because she will beat me with this. Uh, if you're brown, then you'll know. Wooden spoon, um, spatula, is that what you call it? I'm not sure. All of these have uh, Tim Cook's face on there with uh, uh, a baker's hat. Um, yeah, again, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you can actually do this because I'm not sure Tim Cook would sign this off, but hey. All right, let's see what's in here. Oh, okay. This is, of course, the new Moto 360. This is the third generation and it's not in its traditional box because this is a very pre-pre-release unit. Now, what's actually interesting is that uh, I believe uh, Motorola have now sold the license of the Moto 360 to another company and they're the ones who are releasing this product. Um, I was a big fan of the original Moto 360s. Uh, they were the first, I believe, the first Android smartwatches with a circular display. Looks very, very slick. We've got a stainless steel build. It's a 1.2 inch OLED display and we no longer have the bottom flat tire. This is something that I wasn't a huge fan of, so we don't have that anymore. This is an always on display. It's powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon Wear 31000 chipset. It's got one gigabyte of RAM with eight gigabytes of storage, a 355 mAh battery, and it does support fast charging. So you can go from zero to around 100% in just 60 minutes, which is really, really cool. It's running Android Wear OS, which uh, has its advantages and disadvantages. And for pricing, it is going to be coming in at around £275 or $350 uh, from December time. So this is very, very early pre-release. Uh, I'll check this out. I'll let you know how I get on. But uh, if you're somebody who wants an Android smartwatch, then uh, this might just be a new good option. Moving on. What is this? This is the I expand wireless charger from SanDisk. And not only is it a wireless charger, it's also a one-step charging and photo backup. This is interesting because it comes with 256 gigabytes of onboard storage. Now, I think I know how this works. Let's get it unboxed and we'll check it out. All right, so a nice large charging pad. It has uh, the power adapter as well as some paperwork. It's a 10 watt fast charger and it does come along with an app which you can use on either Android or iOS. And then what it's essentially gonna do is when you place your phone on here, as well as charging it, it's gonna be backing up all of your files. Now I know most people have their files in the cloud, I do anyway, but if you're somebody who doesn't maybe want your files in the cloud or you want them fully backed up at full resolution and you've got lots of videos and things like that, then uh, this should be quite useful. I'm not sure of the speed of transfer and things like that. Uh, this is something that I'm gonna have to test out, uh, but uh, quite an interesting little product. Next uh, one, this is from Amazon. This is uh, called the G6 from GameSir. It's uh, a mobile gaming touchscreen controller. Here's everything that you get inside the box. You get some paperwork, this a USB type A to micro USB cable to charge it. And uh, this is uh, for iOS, so it's gonna work with an iPhone. Uh, you can mount your iPhone in here, which we'll do right now. Just about fits my iPhone 11 Pro Max. And it's gonna connect over Bluetooth 5.0. You've got uh, a joystick on here, as well as uh, 10 customizable buttons. So uh, if you're somebody who's into PUBG, for example, this is probably gonna give you an unfair advantage, to be honest, uh, because you're gonna have uh, much more control on this. Uh, quite an interesting product. Uh, I'm sure if you're somebody who's into gaming uh, on your iPhone, then uh, this, uh, this might be something for you. Final package of the episode. Uh, what do we have? All right, we've got the Huawei 
FreeBuds 3. Now these also have active noise cancellation. Well, they look a lot like the previous generation AirPods, so I'm not sure how well they're gonna fit me. They also come with some paperwork as well as a USB type A to USB type C cable to charge them up and they do support fast charging. So you could charge this from around zero to 100% in around 60 minutes. Uh, glossy black casing with a Huawei logo. I believe they're also available in a white. Now, if you've got a Huawei phone, then you are gonna be able to get instant pairing. So uh, let's bring out my Mate 30 Pro. So here it is. Uh, let's pop these open and see what happens. Did I do something? Did I do something wrong? Nothing's coming up. A few moments later. Right, my bad, my bad. Uh, these actually didn't have any charge on them, so I had to charge them up for a little bit. So let's test them out now. Open up the case next to my Mate 30 Pro. Boom, there we go. FreeBuds 3, connect. And then it's gonna show a very similar setup process to what we have with the AirPods. We've got all of the settings here. And let's go ahead and try these on. They also look quite similar to the original AirPods which I'm assuming is gonna mean they're not gonna sit well in my ears. So they're inside right now. Uh, yeah, dropped out. So for me anyway, and for those of you who have ears shaped like mine, uh, these don't really have like a hook or um, a silicon ear tip that's gonna actually sit in your ears a little bit better. And I'm assuming these are gonna fall out a lot for myself anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and test some music. Okay, they sound pretty good. Um, and they also have the smart wear detection. So when you do take these off, then it's gonna detect that they're off and your music is gonna stop playing. Now they do have active noise cancellation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play some music on these while I have one of my videos playing on the side at full blast and see how much of an effect that has. Okay. Um, Let's pause that. Uh, so the active noise cancellation, I did notice it. I noticed that the outside noise was reduced, uh, but uh, there was still lots of noise leaking in. And I'm assuming that's because the, they don't really have a tight seal in your ears like lots of other uh, in-ear earphones have. And I think that seal definitely does make a difference. Uh, so yes, it does work, but uh, I wouldn't say it's uh, as good as uh, what I've tested on lots of other earphones, which uh, do have a better seal. But anyway, if you're somebody that uh, does have a Huawei device and you're interested in getting these, just bear in mind about the fit that I was talking about, uh, then these are retailing for around 170 pounds. So I'll be leaving a link to them in the description below. And that's it for this episode of Unboxing Time. Some pretty cool products. What did you guys think? Is there something that you want me to cover in more detail? Definitely let me know in the comments below. As mentioned, there will be more episodes of Unboxing Time time coming up. I'm going to try to be more consistent. We'll have at least once a month. If you want to see those coming up, then be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss it. If you want to pick up any of the items featured in today's video, they'll all be linked down in the description below. If you want to send something yourselves for a future episode, that address will also be in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then do hit that thumbs up button for me. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf TV. I'll see you next time.